I love fucking with the confused. So y'all don't realize the prompt. I already got my promise. The confuse y'all. And for you to show your true colors. That's the point. So when you keep saying promise this and promise that, I already got the promise I wanted to see the fake. And you see when 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 you see when 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 you reveal who the fake is, what do the fake do? The fake just do a bunch of fake support, a bunch of witch witchcraft, and they talk about every other thing that don't make no sense. See, one thing that God told me to do is to keep throwing it in your face. The same thing. I'm going to keep throwing the same. See, God said, pimp y'all because y'all think y'all was going to pimp somebody. See, God keep telling me, throw the same thing back in their face. The only, the gospel is just the promised Holy Spirit. It's not about none of that other stuff. And I, I'm, I'm going to go to it. Like I said, I, I read the whole Bible. So I'm, I'm going to go do it again with y'all. Paul did not preach what you're preaching. He didn't preach nothing about no, no gifts. I don't know what you're talking about. Or no promises. Paul didn't preach that. Thomas didn't preach that. Thaddeus didn't preach that. David didn't preach that. John the Baptist didn't preach that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, Solomon didn't preach that stuff. So God keep telling me. That's what I'm about saying God's the pimp. God keep pimping y'all with the same exact thing. By thinking you know what I'm talking about and by doubting what I'm saying, God is saying these people are talking about something totally different that's not related to the Bible. right? Now, and that's why I, I be saying certain things like about the Torah and even the Quran. Because I'm saying, because y'all are just foolish. And y'all keep falling for the same trap. When I talk, you fall for the same thing. Right? And I'm going to tell you one more time. Because, like I said, y'all reprobate. See, I'm not even a Christian or Israelite, but y'all reprobate. One thing, I'm, I'm, like, I'm a common man. But I know what a reprobate is. A reprobate cannot accept the Holy Spirit. Because one thing y'all can't do is y'all can't accept. Every time I, I bring up something, I say Holy Spirit. And I bring that up, y'all always skip it. So I'm talking about gifts and stuff. The, a reprobate mind skips God. And see, that's just the intellect I got on my own. That's what I know. That, and that's just real talk, right? So the more I talk, is the more you're going to talk about gifts and promises. The only gift in the promise is the Holy Spirit. And if Christ didn't tell you that, then that means your lust are ruling you. <laughs> See how I keep laughing at you? Right, because I keep telling you, God's telling me to pimp y'all out. He's telling me to pimp y'all out on every level. And you see how y'all never learn? That's called reprobate. That's called, that matter of fact, that's called, that, that's called the Jezebel spirit. Because you have no habitation of just following God. You don't want to follow God. You know, you really you don't want to follow God, right? See, I am your God, and I'm just, and that's what I, 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 I see, I see that now. I'm your God because see, what you do is you hear me talk, you hear me say something, and then you just start gravitating towards me. That, that I'm trying, like I told you, that's how. Why do you think God keep telling me to pimp y'all out? Y'all, y'all the easiest thing to pimp out. Y'all easy to pimp out, and you're not gonna never be able to escape that because now. I know, God know, Satan know, the fallen angels know, the regular angels know, the, the prophets know, the false prophets know. The only thing y'all concerned with, only thing y'all concerned with in, in, in this day and time is promises and gifts. But you're not concerned with anything else and you don't glorify, you don't glorify God. So that's the point. Now the world knows. The world knows. And remember, and what do Jezebel do? Like, what, what do you, what does Jezebel do, do y'all? She just continues with no habitation, continues talking about the same thing. And the sad part is, I'm not a Christian, I'm not an Israelite, just a regular man. And even I know, because I read the Bible, and I pray. So even I know that it's not about none of the stuff y'all saying. It's not about no marriage. It's not about no house. It's not about no car. It's not about no mansion. It ain't about nothing. Because believe me, if it was about that stuff, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be no pimp with eight bitches. Man. Let me be careful. But anyway, right. You know what I mean? Let me respect my, my little baby girl in the other room. But like I said, regardless. Right? So it ain't about none of that stuff. It's not about... It's, and it, it's, it's really not. See, you could get that stuff. But the most... <laughs> he don't have nothing to do with that. He really don't. He has nothing to do with that. You, you could get that stuff on your very own. I got my calls... On my own from working. Got my house is on my own from working. Got my bitches, my, my wife, my, you know, hoes, whatever you want to call them. But from, you know what I'm saying? From being a, a player, from being a gamer, being a pimp. But that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So it's, it, it's, it's just sad.
See, what well, y'all supposed to depend on God, the Most High for the Holy Spirit. And it's obvious you don't have the Holy Spirit because we have the Holy Spirit. See, that's like, imagine Paul talking to somebody about the Holy Spirit. Talk, matter of fact, Peter. Imagine Peter and Paul talking about the Holy Spirit and Peter just interrupts him. To say, oh, well, you know, Paul, I wish I could go back to fishing. Oh, well, Paul, don't worry about it. Things going to get better. How could Peter talk to Paul about something different when the Holy Spirit, which is God, it is from the Most High God, he's from the Most High God. Just think about it. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> I was like, Peter, when he left his, you know what I'm saying, family's wife and stuff to, to do it. He had to do. That's like somebody coming up and saying, Oh, Peter, don't worry. You'll go back home to your wife. God, the Holy, the Holy Spirit will be like, What the fuck is you talking about? Now, you get what I'm saying? Right. That's like the apostles going on all their missions. They go to India. They go on here. They go on to uh, um, Thessalonica. And, you know, and here. And they go on there. And they go on to Corinth and blah, blah, blah. And that's like somebody saying, um, Oh, yeah, you know, I bet you we, um, promised. Yeah, I bet you we, we, we all, we all promised to get wives. We all promised. They was on a mission. See, me, personally, I'm not on that mission. Now, I, I personally believe, and, I'm, and I, I fact that God, God has given me, that most has given me the wisdom, knowledge, the understanding, and everything to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, if he called me to do it. That's one thing I'm going to say. But I'm not on that mission. I'm, not, I'm really not on that mission. But them brothers that did that, like Paul and them, I had to show nothing but salute and respect. Because they didn't turn, right? So when somebody say to me, oh, lead this leader. I said, no, nah, I can't lead this leader because God didn't tell me to do that. My mission is not Paul's in them. My mission is not Mo, Mo, Moses in them. You know what I mean? My mission is just like me. You know what I mean? But, my, but then again, my mission is to pimp y'all out because just to let you know, because God is saying, pimp these hoes. Meaning, the niggas and the bitches that's just talking dumb shit every time somebody talk about God. Right? Somebody talking about God. And somebody talking about like a matter of, like I'm, I'm saying, all right, even though I got, I got my hoes, whatever, but I got my lovely wife in the other room. I got my lovely little baby. I got Now, I'm talking about marriage, and like I said, y'all are trying to offer me marriage. That's nothing but Satan. Because first of all, if motherfucking Satan already know, I got like eight bitches, eight wives. You know what I mean? You know, Satan already know that. Satan know I got some lovely kids I take care of. So why the fuck is you, right, and, that's, right, and again, right, that's like Moses. I think like Moses going off, and then some other bitch talking about, oh yeah, Moses, you gonna have more kids. How the fuck you gonna get more kids when God wants him to take the children of Israel to the promised land? Now come on, like, that motherfuckers is stupid. And like I said, so right. And like I said, don't send past me because I don't need you to rob my dick because of this. That shit, it, I'm, I, I'm telling y'all what y'all are doing. This shit is sad, yo. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all supposed to be followers of the Most High God. That's what you see. I just, me personally, I love God. I know who God is. But I'm not a follower of him. Y'all supposed to be the followers. So, you know what I mean? God got me sort of like a watchman on the wall. Like, yeah, tell me what they're doing. Even though he know, like, tell me what they're doing. And when y'all doing it, y'all y'all motherfuckers is entering. Uh, y'all niggas is, um, I'm going to say it. Y'all enabling fornication. Y'all like, oh, yeah. Marriage, this and marriage, that. How the fuck could you be concentrating on marriage when you say you follow the most high God? So you can't, there's no way you can follow the creator of the universe and think you're going to concentrate on something much less. Because look, just me, just me, make your mind go somewhere. So how, how, how the fuck would you, I'm saying, you bitches that's not getting no motherfucking dick or whatever. How the fuck when you get, you, when you get your first piece of dick or you niggas ain't getting no pussy and you don't got no bitches. How the fuck when you, when you get your first piece where you tell me you're going to follow, you can't follow God. You can't follow him because you don't know how to multitask. So see, that saying, I'm about my father's business like Christ said, that shit is real. When he said that, he meant that. And you see, some people will look and they can say, oh, yeah, leave this one, or you can leave that one. Some of y'all keep, some, see, some of y'all can say it to somebody else, but you can't do that. Because you're not about the father's business. Right. You, you, some of y'all niggas love your, um, if you got a wife, you, you, you will love that bitch more. Y'all, you will love that nigga more. And, and y'all will love your babies and stuff more. You would. See, that's what you're trying to tell you. And that's, that, that's, that's easy discernment you could tell. So y'all motherfuckers are trying to live a fantasy life. Off the book. That's how people think they be. They be thinking that the book is a fantasy. No, the people that try to live it is a fantasy. Y'all, y'all niggas can't live that. I'm telling you because I see it. You follow one man like me, and the, and you follow me in the flesh. So how could you? How could if God give you something? Could you even take? Right. Most of y'all motherfuckers got stuff, and y'all can't even hold that down. 
So what is you really talking about? You and you and you can't even concentrate. So how could you concentrate if you were to get more? That's why Christ said don't get that's why Christ said that that, that rich shit don't work. See, for me, like I said, say me, I'm focused. One thing God did for me, I was born focused. So I, I never lose focus. So I, I call you off if you're good, I call you off if you're bad. I do good and I do bad and that's just me. So, you know what I mean? So, you know, niggas is old bitches or whoever, you can't hold me down. That's just how that is. Ain't no church bitch, no church nigga with holding me down because I don't go by the bullshit y'all talk. But I, I could put you on point, you know what I mean? I could put you on point, but when I put you on point, that don't mean some path and, and rob my dick. God doesn't want you riding my dick. Now, I understand I'm helping you. I'm giving you a shitload of fucking knowledge that y'all that y'all, that y'all don't even know. And I'm cursing and all that. And let me let me be a little quiet, real talk, man, for the white screen. You know what I mean? I don't want to wake up the baby. But just listen. Like I said, I'm giving y'all a shitload of motherfucking knowledge that y'all probably not even aware of. You're not even aware of this. Right. So the thing is, nah. God ain't promising you none of that shit. You know why? Because he knows already that y'all can yeah. <laughs> y'all can barely, y'all can, y'all, <laughs> you can barely have what you have and follow the most high God. So you, so you got to be real. You're not, you're not going to be able to do it. And it's not because you fall short. It's not because you fall short. It's because you're more into material and flesh things than you are anything else. That's why, like I said, when I talk about God, you're talking about promises. That, and that's just a test. And like I said, I could be like an atheist right now. I ain't no Christian. Or no Israelite. I ain't a Christian or no Israelite because I don't, I don't believe in the Christian or the Israelites. But I, I believe in the Most High God. I believe in the God of Israel. But other than that, right. So just, 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 just look at that, right. Then you see me doing something like this. I don't give a fuck what I preach to you. You supposed to, and when you, you don't supposed to condemn me one minute or judge me one minute and then the next minute. You say, oh, what? Well, nah. You don't, oh damn, yeah, you don't do shit like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, just, just be real, be real, be even a, a human father. If your father, like, you know what I mean? Tell me, y'all, your father, your father still living with your mother, whatever. They know a man doing like this, and you, like, okay, if you do, if you, okay, if you, your human father wasn't like that, or your mother wasn't like that. What do you think you're doing to God? That's just the point. That's just the point. You making it. You making me make a fool out of you. See, like, see, and what the Paul say in the book? He's a fool for Christ. He didn't say, I'm a fool for um, Thaddeus. I'm a fool for Silas. He didn't say that. <laughs> oh, you see what I'm saying? You see how God just gives. See, that's that's the point. See, God gives. See, y'all, his enemies. So God gives his enemies over to those that you know what I mean. That they, to to those that just. Not even, not even part of the faith like that. They just, they part of God's faith. Right, that's just the point. And y'all got to say, you're not religious. No, y'all are very religious. Because by being on my dick, that's called religious. That's called religious. I'm the one that's, I'm the one that, that's not religious. I don't follow no sector or no, no none of that bullshit. Because I don't have to. You know what I mean? That's the point, but it's it's sad. It's sad. And see, one day you're gonna learn, cause like I said, you know, if it's like you're gonna find yourself burning in hell. You really are. Cause, you know, that's just the point. Paul, Paul would have been rebuked the shit out of me. See, so like, Paul and Peter, they would rebuke me and they and they would have never they'd have made sure that Deborah, she like, who the fuck is this perfect? That's what I'm see, you see what I'm trying to tell you? That see, that's realness. See, the truth sets you free. But see, I'm saying this. You're not saying this. So you can't come and say it now. Now, just look at the, how, how I can introduce you to reality. Why you, and that's that's why y'all ride my dick like that. That's the reason. But you see, the more I talk, is the more you're gonna ride my dick. And you see, that I'm just gonna be real with you. The more you ride the flesh, that's what you're gonna ride. It's no more you're gonna get close closer to God. Because see, God's not gonna, like, God not gonna give you no message based off of what I'm saying. Because what I'm saying, God didn't give you. That's what, because if God gave you what I was saying, if God gave you the message I was saying, you would have been foretold this stuff I'm saying before I even said it. And right, and some, one of y'all would have mocked the shit out of me. You would have rebuked the mess out of me and said, you know what I mean? I'm not pleased with you. God, I'm not pleased with you. That's not, that's, that's not pleasing acts you're doing. That's how it's supposed to be. Because there's no sin, there's no such thing as, you know, like, you know like, oh yeah, once you, you save, you always save. You know, if you save, you're doing wrong and you're you, you, you backsliding. That don't make no motherfucking sense. Because Paul didn't tell, tell, tell it to nobody. Paul said, uh uh-uh. uh. Paul told it like it was, right? Peter told it, Thaddeus told it like it was. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. So what the thing is, y'all can't 
Y'all nowhere close to them. Y'all not y'all not even fair. Y'all bad. If you apostles, y'all men and women, y'all bad apostles. And that's fucked up. <laughs> a nigga like me gotta tell you this. That's not even part of the faith. I ain't even part of the faith. I gotta tell you this. Yo, man, let me tell you like this, man. To that small percent, like Christ said, to that small percent, that two or three out of a thousand. Yo, one thing I'm gonna say is this. I don't follow what you follow, but I respect you for being able to call things out and keeping it narrow, not calling things out one day and then talking about, oh, 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 oh no, that's perfect, and, you know, and t talking some old nonsense, but being able to stick to what you do, being like the Apostle Paul as far as being able to call something out and sticking to that word, being like Deborah, being able to make a judgment and boom, being like Mary, you know what I mean? Being like Mary Magdalene once she broke away and once Christ um, relieved her from her sins, you know what I mean? And she sent no more. Being like Mother Mary, you know what I mean? Real talk. So that's, you know what I mean? I, that's all I, can, I can't respect. Somebody that, you know what I mean, that go against the rules and watch a man doing this. You think Mother Mary would, 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 would approve me doing that? Is you out your mind? You think Mary Magdalene, after she came out of that, same would have been like, you know what I'm saying? I got no, you, is you out your mind? What 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 the fuck part of town do you come from? Y'all you say you don't follow like other like uh, religions like Islam or whatever or what? Y'all follow something because it's definitely not. I mean, like I said, in this you know, it's not nothing, it's nothing called Christianity in the Bible, the book, but whatever. This so called Christianity. Y'all don't even got no laws. So you mean to tell me? Oh, so since Christ said that you know um, he fulfilled the law, y'all can just watch somebody do this. And say, oh, it's okay because you got the Holy Spirit. I don't care what you said. That's not. That's, that's not. A characteristic of the Holy Spirit, and I don't need you to say, oh, well, um, you know, we all got the Holy Spirit and we struggle. No, like I said again, Jeff Burnham didn't say that. So, so I, I go, at least one thing I do is I go by the book. I don't really follow, follow the book, but I follow the characters that the most I chose in the book. And I go by what they did, what they said, and what they didn't say. You know what I mean? And they didn't say that shit. They did not say that shit. And if somebody was, oh, they, they didn't follow that, follow the person and keep saying the same stuff over and over again. That's the point. See, and y'all be saying let go and this and that. Y'all ain't know how to right. That's just that's the point. So see, that's why you can't grow because you won't let go, and you won't right. And when you you won't let go and you won't really you're not really glorifying God. Y'all want God for um gifts and things like that. You're not glorifying Him. You're not you're not uh, yeah you know like, you don't know, glorify me. You're not glor you're not black storm to Him. But it was like I said when I was. When I was young, I would latch on to my father's leg before he leave. So he could take me with him wherever he go. You know what I mean? So you're not right. So your your spirit and your prayers and your fasting, whatever, it's not latching on to the most high God. It's 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 saying, gift, gift this, gift, gift that. You're not latching on to him. So if you don't latch on to the most high God, he's not gonna latch on to you. So now that you don't latch on to him, he got me <laughs> playing deceiving, deceiving the shit out of you. And that's real. That's like I said. And for those of y'all that are really latching on to the most high God. I love you because see, one thing I love is I, I love the toughness of the, the people of God. Right. So when you're tough, I love that. When if you cookie cutter, and you, you up. To the, I can't stand a, a soft person like God because there's no you can't right. And I ain't even like I said, I ain't even a Christian or Israelite. And I ain't I ain't soft as fuck because you can see already. I tell on myself. I tell you what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it. And see, even with that, see that and see that comes from a strict, real. Upbringing, honesty, truth, something that something y'all don't know, right? So you you didn't have that, so you you know you uh, 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 nah, that shit don't work like that. That's the point. And I don't know if Peter and Peter and Paul knew it father or not, but I know the I know one thing: the the upbringing that Christ gave them, Moses gave them, the Ruach gave them. That's what they you know what I'm saying had. They didn't have that cookie cutter, uh, 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 right? Abraham didn't have that. Isaac didn't have that book. <laughs> Israel, Jacob ain't had that. You know what I mean? Re Rebecca and them, they ain't had that shit. They was, they, they was, you know what I'm boom. They was boom. They was real. And that's why I always say real respect, real and truth. Only the truth sets you free. Right? And the truth is, y'all not latching on to God. <laughs> that's just how it is, man. But yo, to the real ones that's doing it, like I said, I like your style because you're aggressive, like the way most I want you to be. You calling shit out and you call it out and you don't, you don't, you don't um change your mind. You know wrong. Peace for that, cause I love, I love realness. Cause my father, my father, when shit was real, shit was wrong. That nigga didn't like, cause you're not supposed to play when something's wrong, something's right. You know what I mean? Then <laughs> that's different, right? When something's wrong, 
A man and a woman, was my mom. I just have my mom's call it out or with me. You know what I mean? It, real talk. Like she was supposed to do. And that's what they say. See, that's what she, the thing is, God is not chastising y'all. And y'all might say, oh, yeah, we all go. No, y'all didn't go through chastisement. Y'all just went through um, a little, made, little problems everybody go through. And like we said, everybody got issues. Yeah, that's God didn't whip. Cause if God whip, if God whipped y'all, y'all motherfuckers would be on point. Y'all have you like, oh, that's what I'm trying to say. You see, y'all have me like, well, I got y'all like that. And look, I ain't even, I ain't like I said, I ain't even part of the faith. I'm just a part of God. That's it. <laughs> peace to the real one, man. That's what I'm gonna say. And the, the, the real ones are saying peace back to me, but they latch on to God. The most high, not me. They take up their cross, not me. They see wrong, they don't like that shit. They see that, they see that, they don't like that shit, and they vocal about it. And that's that, that, that them people like that are rare somewhere. <laughs> that's the thing about the most high. Peace to the real. <laughs>